Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. Capricorn, and this is going to be your love reading for February. Let's take a look at what's going on in love for Capricorn. Spirit, give me a message for Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. What do we have for Capricorn? We have get back to nature and reconnect to your hippie roots. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's a need for you to find yourself. I feel like you're kind of looking for yourself lately. I feel like you kind of lost that spark a little bit. At the bottom we have show off your sparkle and shine from inside. So I feel like, like that's very relevant, you know, because I feel like you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to find that spark. I feel like there's a lot of changes that you're going through at the moment, Capricorn. With this being um, just coming out of your season, just going through your birthday, I feel like you're trying to reinvent yourself. I feel like there's changes that you want to make. You want to change some aspect about yourself. Because I feel like you're judging yourself a little bit too harshly. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And yes, Capricorn, you have your own as well. Because I feel like this is you judging yourself about some certain information. You're judging yourself by some way. Or you're feeling very judged. But you also have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So I feel like whatever changes that you're making, I feel like you're finding a lot of happiness with those changes. I feel like you're really liking the results of those changes. Um, let's get some tarot for Capricorn. Let's see what else is going on with Capricorn and love. Let's see what love messages we have for Capricorn Spirit. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, we have the Strength card. No, this is the Empress. We have the Empress. So you are very attractive. You're very abundant. You're manifesting something beautiful into your life, Capricorn. This could be male or female energy, but this is feminine divine energy. And like I said, I feel like we have the strength card and look what pops out right after it. We have the empress and the strength. So I feel like not only are you beautiful, like you're glowing up, like you're sparkling. You're also very strong, Capricorn. And I feel like you're showing yourself that self-love that you need to show yourself. You're making improvements. You're spending time at the spa or you're spending time at the salon or barber you know I feel like you are <clears throat> really focused on yourself you could be spending time at the gym but I like I said I feel like you're very focused you're very focused on making these changes this this king of sword energy I feel like this is focus this is pure intent this is you being bold, speaking words of wisdom to yourself, you know. Or someone speaking words of wisdom to you. This is also very strategic thought. Um, the King of Swords, he says what he means and he means what he says. You know, he's not going to back down on what he feels about a situation because he knows that he has the intellect, he has the thought to back up whatever it is that he's saying. And I feel like this is you being in a very strong position, um, Capricorn. You also have the High Priestess. So I feel like you're very intuitive. You're finding out the secrets. I feel like, you know, you're uncovering the mysteries. Capricorn. Now, if the King of Swords is a person coming into your life, I feel like you're you're finding things out about this person. You're like getting to know the person on a level where you're like finding out their mysteries, 
uncovering what makes this person so inviting, attractive to you. You have the Queen of Swords as well. Exactly. The Queen of Swords is right underneath the Empress. So I feel like this Queen of Swords, she's being very self-sufficient. She's being totally honest about her situation. I feel like this is opening up to the King of Swords. This is you opening up, tell them, telling them about your background, telling them about your past, about your plans, about your future. I feel like you're doing a lot of communication. You're communicating a lot and it's making you feel very happy, overwhelmed, full of love. You know, you feel like this is a new beginning, a new start to some kind of big beginning that you've likely been waiting for you know i feel like this this ace of cups is making you very strong in the situation it's opening up feelings that you thought maybe were kind of put to rest kind of laying dormant but i feel like this person is building up your confidence in a way that's opening you up to I feel like you're telling this person things that you have never told anybody before. I feel like you're really opening up to this person and it's kind of creating this beautiful bond. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely some kind of offering being made to you. I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're both moving very slow in the situation as well. You're not moving fast in this situation. You're taking your time. You're having patience with each other. You're kind of working through those emotions. And I feel like you're making plans. You're making decisions. These are hard choices that you need to make. You know, I feel like this is... I feel like these are underlying feelings that I feel like this person is maybe talking about their ex or telling you about their pain or something like that. And I feel like it may be a hard pill to swallow hearing them talk about somebody else so passionately. But I feel like I feel like it's something that you want to hear because this person is opening up their soul to you. You know, I feel like they're getting very private. They're getting very emotional. Um, they're telling you things that, like I said, I feel like they have never told anyone before or you have never told anybody before. They're getting very private information. And I feel like at some point it does make you make you feel a little bit um, insecure. A little bit. A little bit un. Comfortable. It's making you a little bit uncomfortable because I feel like it's pushing you past your comfort zone you know I feel like this person talks to you like no one has ever talked to you before I feel like they communicate things with you like no one has ever communicated before and I feel like it's bringing you into this feeling of <clears throat> are they saying this to make me mad do they want me to get jealous you know are they saying this because they really care and they want me to know I feel like you're you're seeing like this nine of wands doubts and fears because this person is opening up so easily to you. And I feel like this person is opening up so easily to you because they're comforted by you. They feel very nurtured, very welcomed. They feel very supported. So I feel like this person who's coming into your life, they're opening up all the way you know because they feel so much balance when they're around you they feel very balanced very
very truthful like it's so easy for their truth to be told when you're around you know you kind of give them that feeling Capricorn very interesting energy we also have the four of swords so I feel like you know once you get past this doubt once you get past this uncomfortable feeling once you get to know this person better I feel like it's going to make you feel more rested more rejuvenated you're able to open up more freely to this person you're able to truly be yourself like maybe you haven't been able to do before um i feel like this person is bringing out a lot of big truths out of you as well because i feel like as you're opening up to this person as you're unfolding all of your pain all of your sorrow all of your hopes and all of your dreams i feel like you're learning a lot about yourself there's a lot of things that are becoming more clear. Yeah, you know, we have the King of Pentacles. So this could be another Earth sign coming through for you. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn, because I feel like this is building on your stability. This is making you feel very protected very supported this is really building that foundation of something very special <laughs> and i really feel like this is your energy capricorn we have the sun so i feel like this situation is going to bring you so much happiness so much abundance so much prosperity i feel like this is long-term happiness this is not something that's going to be, you know, here today, gone with the wind. This is going to be something here that's going to grow. Something here that's going to flourish and build. You know, I feel like, you know, I know she's spinning silk on this wheel. But if you look at it kind of differently, when I first looked at it, I kind of felt like, a, a little child riding a tricycle along the sun <laughs> you know call me crazy if you want to but that's what I that's what I first saw when I saw it I saw the wheel and I saw you know her like riding it like a tricycle along the sun and I feel like this is taking you on the ride of your life that's just how I feel you know Capricorn I feel like it's very beautiful energy it's very giving very hopeful i feel like there's a lot of hope for a new beginning look at this beautiful the two of cups this is going to bring you both a lot of satisfaction because i feel like with the two of you the feelings are mutual this is you and your person taking a drink of love taking a drink from your cup of love you know, you both have the same feelings. The feeling is mutual. This is honest give and take. Two souls bonding. You know, and I feel like that's exactly what it is. Two souls bonding. At the bottom you have the king of wands. So this could be a fire sign. It could be a... Uh, a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius but I feel like this King of Wands is opening up a great new passion I feel like this person is very powerful very charming very creative um, but I feel like they're they're like putting the spark into this relationship they're I feel like you're kind of seeing the spark and you being the Capricorn that you are, I feel like you really don't want to accept the situation for what it is at first. You're having a few feelings of doubts. You're having a few feelings of, is this all an illusion or do they feel the same way I do? And I, I feel like, you know, I feel like you should not let those feelings dwell very long. 
you know, take those feelings and just let them go. Um, let go of your burdens. Let go of the worries. And just go on the journey. That's the Ten of Wands. You know, there, there's some kind of fire. Some kind of information that you're releasing. Some kind of bond that's been broken in the past. That needs to be released with this Ten of uh, Wands energy. This is completion. You know, this is going through that cycle. Going through that motion. Letting go of your burdens. You know, it could also feel like carrying too many burdens, carrying too many priorities. But um, I'm, I'm really feeling like this is letting go of your burdens, going through this cycle. Because we have, we have new beginnings here. We have a lot of new beginnings, a lot of emotions. Um, we have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is something that's very valued to the both of you. This is something that's starting a new beginning. This is like a new promotion. Uh, a new promotion. I can't even talk now. The, this is you and this person investing in the situation. Investing in this new beginning. Uh, how much are you willing to invest, Capricorn? Are you willing to risk it all? Are you willing to hold back so that... You know, there's a chance that this person doesn't see the real you. Those are questions that you need to ask yourself while you're moving forward in the situation. Because whether you know it or not, Capricorn, this situation is moving forward. And I feel like it's moving forward in a very strong way. This is destiny coming your way. This is a change in your position. This is truly moving in the right direction to where the universe wants you to go. This is new beginnings, new journeys, new feelings, new emotions. You know, this is taking you on this destined purpose. You know, there's usually two finxes in the beginning um, in, in this card where it's the yin and the yang. The yin and the yang represent the... Um, feeling of going in the right direction, following your purpose, you know, being bold, being assertive. We have the page of wands. So someone definitely wants you to notice. Someone wants you to listen very clearly. Someone has something to say. Or they're willing to listen. But I, I really feel like this person likes to communicate. They're a Capricorn. They like to talk. You know, you're a Capricorn. You like to talk. You know, I know that about you because, you know, you're a very good communicator. Even though you're an earth sign, I feel like there's a lot of value to everything that you have to say. Capricorn. Beautiful energy. Let's get... One more card. At the bottom we have, you have the Empress, you have the Emperor. So in this situation, you're taking control. You're seeing this adventure through to the end. You know, you're seeing it through. And I also feel like with this Emperor energy, this is you taking that assert assertive action. Um, maybe even making the first move on this situation because I feel like this person is ready for you to make a first move. They're ready for to take action. All they need to see is, is you take one footstep in front of them and I feel like this person is moving. But let's see. Okay. Capricorn, we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So definitely, I feel like whatever you set your mind to, you can accomplish. If what you want is love, then love is what you're going to get. Um, but I also feel like, like there's worry hidden behind it. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So you can't be disciplined and also worry. Capricorn, there's just no way to it. You can't 
you know, be assertive and not take action. You know, you can't be bold and not be courageous. So that's something that you really need to take a look at. Because I feel like you want to be bold in this situation. You want to be disciplined. But you're still having worries. And that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Let's get some more messages for Capricorn. Instinct. Follow your instincts. Capricorn, use your intuition. That is this, this um, high priestess energy. And we, we're at an impasse. So that's this two of swords energy. I feel like there's decisions that you need to make. Because I feel like there's a soulmate right in front of you. And all you need to do is open your eyes. To see this person, take notice, be assertive, you know, be aware that love, and I feel like this love right here is very strong, is very bold. So I, I feel like paying attention to your situation is going to be very beneficial for you. Capricorn, let's get some love cards for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? And love. Let's get some love cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you have shared with those you love. Yeah, and <clears throat> with this card, Capricorn, I kind of feel like you, you're, you are at this point where you feel like that love is never going to come for you. Like... You're never going to find that true passion, that true one, that true someone that's meant for, just for you. But you are, and they're here. I feel like you're meeting that person very, very soon. We also have passion. A magnetic, seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I feel like you're very attractive to this person. And this person is very attractive to you. Let's take a look at your person. Give me some cards for your person, spirit. Give me some cards for your person. Let's see, we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When you resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. So I feel like this person is also going through some kind of changes as well. These may be choices that your person needs to make. These may be decisions that your person needs to focus on. Definitely. New beginning. A new adventure at weights. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So I feel like that's very important for your person. At the bottom we have twin flames. Your passion ignites. So I definitely feel like, you know, we've already gotten the soulmate card. I definitely feel like this could possibly be a soulmate coming through for you. This could possibly be the one that you've been waiting for, uh, Capricorn. Let's get some more cards for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Capricorn, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate coming forward. We have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. This is definitely your soulmate. This is the one that you've been waiting for. And I feel like they're coming in in the month of February. If you haven't met this person, you're going to meet this person very soon. And I feel like once this person sees you, they're going to be reminiscing. They're going to be keepsake, perception, learn from the past, making memories. The, this person is watching you. They're taking notice of you. They're looking at your photos. This may be a person that you already know, but I feel like this is someone that you're going to meet. But someone who can't stop thinking about you. Once they do meet you. 
they can't get their mind off of you. Yeah, look at this. We have date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Getting back out there. Plan. Set a date. So you and this person are going to go on a date. You're going to meet for the first time. And you're going to spend a lot of time talking. This person is very interested in everything that you have to say. They're waiting for messages to arrive. They're waiting for communication to come through. They're waiting to have the ability to talk more to you. They want to know your plans. They want to know your future. They want to know what makes you tick. They want to know about your past. I feel like you're both opening up with each other very strongly. Okay, Capricorn. Well, this is what I have for you. So, Capricorn, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Um, I'll have the rest of the um, signs uploaded within the next couple of days. So, check back um, if you're sun moon or rising isn't uploaded check back i'll have them uploaded very soon and until your next reading capricorn many blessings to you love and light